Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning. Brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assistant Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A reminder, as monsoon season kicks off, take flood warnings seriously. The Regional Flood Control District held an event to urge people to stay vigilant. Since 1960, 35 people in Clark County have died from flash floods, including two people last year. Not something like, oh, that happened 10 or 12 or 15 years ago, it won't happen now. It does happen now, and it will happen again if you're not careful and if you don't understand the dangers of these flood flows. Saturday marks the anniversary of a flood that caused millions of dollars in damage. Review Journal's videographer Michael Quine has this story. On Thursday afternoon, July 3rd, 1975, just one day before the busy 4th of July weekend, a thunderstorm blew across the Las Vegas Valley, dropping more than three inches of rain. Rain was heaviest in the area just west of Rainbow Boulevard, which is higher in elevation than the Las Vegas Strip, and floodwaters poured down Flamingo Wash from the west. At Caesars Palace, hundreds of cars were submerged in the muddy water, many in the northern parking lot, which was in the path of the wash. Although a sign was posted to warn patrons of possible flooding in the area, it was of little consolation for those whose cars were immersed by the unexpected flash flood, with water levels that reached 20 feet. Cranes had to be brought in to remove cars, and damages were estimated at $4.5 million. Over half of all flood-related drownings occur when a vehicle is driven into hazardous flood water. Be cautious and avoid areas subject to flooding, especially in areas posted with flash flood warning signs. As we head into the holiday weekend, officials across the Las Vegas Valley are getting ready to deal with a familiar foe. We're talking about fires. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more. All this dry heat in the desert, coupled with fireworks going off around the valley, Fire officials say that's the perfect recipe for fires to spark. Last year, North Las Vegas reportedly saw over a million dollars worth of fireworks-related fire damage. And just in the past two weeks, the city's fire department already responded to four significant fires caused by fireworks, totaling $750,000 in damage. People will throw away your, their used fireworks without allowing the pieces to fully um, fully cool down. And so when you have a pile of containers of hot fireworks and, and you store it in your garage and that's what's causing it to continue to smolder over time. For residential fireworks, experts recommend soaking the device in water for hours before discarding it. Renee? On to your health news now, sponsored by 4M Dental Love Your Smile Again, Clark County has issued an air quality advisory for the weekend. Officials with the county's Division of Air Quality say elevated levels of smoke and ozone are expected Saturday through Monday. Here's some tips to stay healthy. First, stay indoors if you see or smell smoke. Next, run your air conditioner. It can filter smoke and other particles from the air. And finally, schedule any activities for the morning or evening. That's when ozone levels are usually lower. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Happy Friday, everyone. Sunny and hot today with a high of near 108 degrees. Mostly clear skies for your evenings, lows in the upper 80s. For your holiday weekend, mostly sunny skies. Temps will remain in triple digits. Remember, there is an air quality advisory in effect. 108 for your 4th of July and evening lows will be in the mid 80s. Now here's your Friday morning sports update. Las Vegas Aces center Liz Cambage and forward Dierica Hamby were named to the 2021 WNBA All-Star team, and they will face off with the U.S. Women's National Team here in Las Vegas on July 14th at Michelob Ultra Arena. With more, here's sports reporter Sam Gordon. Thanks, Dre. Obviously huge news for the Aces. Uh, Dierica Hamby, this is her first honor and really deserving. She's been one of the best players in the league for a long time, two-time reigning sixth woman of the year, another stellar season off the bench. She said it's particularly an honor for her because she's a reserve, and this is a role that, as an all-star, that not many reserves get to have. As far as Liz Campage is concerned, it's expected. She is one of the best players in the world, a dominant, dominant center, enjoying another dominant season, and said yesterday she's really excited uh, for the opportunity to be coached by two GOATs in Lisa Leslie and Tina Thompson. 
In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, MGM Resorts has made a deal involving two properties on the Las Vegas Strip. MGM says it is selling its Aria and Vidara to the Blackstone Group for nearly $4 billion. Blackstone will lease the properties back to MGM. When you see a company putting in more than four, you know, nearly $4 billion uh, to buy a couple of hotels just to lease them back, I mean, that definitely... Uh, you know, sends a strong message uh, about uh, what they believe is the future of the Strip and, and the future of tourism here in Las Vegas. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoveryourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Cirque du Soleil artists and MGM Resorts executives, held a parade Thursday to celebrate the reopening of its show O oh! at the Bellagio after a 16-month absence due to the pandemic. Um, when we put our first show back on at T-Mobile and it sold out in 17 minutes, I knew fundamentally we were Las Vegas, and we've created over many, many decades with a lot of vision for a lot of people, so it's going to be just fine. But, but it's nice to get it back for real. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Tampa Bay Lightning are minus 130 road favorites at the Westgate today as they go for a 3-0 lead in the Stanley Cup Final. The Montreal Canadiens are plus 120, and the total is 5. The Lightning are plus 200 to cover the minus one and a half puck line. The Lightning are now overwhelmingly minus 2,000 favorites at the Westgate to defend their title. The Canadians are 10 to one to come back. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas Assistant Living and Memory Care, the best care for the best life, the 4th of July celebration has begun. Palestation lit up the sky with fireworks to celebrate America's independence, as well as the 45th birthday of Station Casinos. This is one of the first of many shows that will light up the valley this weekend, including events on the Las Vegas Strip and downtown. You can get all the details on times, dates, and places by visiting us online at LVRJ.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From all of us here at the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great weekend. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.